On a day when women marched around the world to mark International Women's Day. In Iran, they are marching to protest the poisoning of schoolgirls. More than a thousand students have reportedly fallen ill over the past three months. The cause, still a mystery. Iran's supreme leader says the acts are unforgivable, but many inside and outside Iran blame the regime. It's like Taliban. Maybe they do this because they want their parents prohibited the girls going to school. Zarin Moyedin left Iran shortly after the revolution in 1979. Here is me. She says she was against it from the start. A large crowd of women. Exactly 44 years ago, Moyedin marched in Tehran alongside thousands of other women now we are for freedom. to demonstrate against a decree from the country's first supreme leader. We were protesting against the mandatory hijab. Moyedin says her hope for change faded after years of repression. <laughs> but the protests happening now sparked last year by the death of 22-year-old Masa Amini in police custody are restoring it. All the time brings tears to my eyes from the happiness that uh, uh, the revolution this time leading by the women. These two young Iranian-Canadian women closely watching the events in Iran unfold share that sense of hope as well, despite the dangers that women and girls continue to face. These uh, poisonings are another way that the government is trying to take revenge. I feel like it's not even a protest anymore. It's more like a revolution. A revolution, they say, for women, for life, and for freedom. Idil Musa, CBC News, Toronto.